two of our series on the Anchorage Police Department's Community Action Policing Team. And this morning, we bring you a day in the life of one of the unit's seven officers. Now, we've already shown you some of the community issues they take on, and now we take you along for the ride to show you their proactive approach to reducing crime. Josh, be fair. Can you pick up that pipe there on the ground? It's easy to pick out the APD's Community Action Policing Unit. I'll take that. Instead of waiting on calls for help, the seven cap officers we'll take a quick run down Fourth Avenue here. Literally go looking for trouble. Let's go and see what we can get into. The eyes and ears of the community. The cap team has a pulse on the city's hot spots and problems that are plaguing each neighborhood. But the cap team, we're kind of a, a jack of all trades, a master of none. It's a proactive approach to crime suppression. Uh, a seven-year APD uh, veteran, Will Cameron, and, finds rewarding. Uh, you know, one day that could be um, panhandlers and illegal campers. Uh, or public inebriation or stop sign violation. On this Thursday afternoon, just before 4 p.m., Officer Cameron finds himself in what police call the Hyder Court. There is drug use, there's prostitution, uh, there's, you know, chronic inebriates. And his first duty of the day is a traffic stop to help Officer Mitchell. There's a knife up on the dash there, just heads up. They use caution and a little bit of humor. We got caught with a pound. No one got caught with a pound, <laughs> unless there's a pound in the car. Goals to make sure no crimes are being committed and to make sure everyone is safe. You don't know who you're dealing with on traffic stops, and so you try to gather as much information as possible from each stop. While dispatch checks on the status of the driver, on the same street, pedestrians appear to be fighting. Uh, looks like three people in a verbal 1119. Hey, guys, what's going on today? I'm going to come over here and talk for a minute. The three men don't seem interested in speaking to police. You're already <laughs> with them. What? Right, but I've already cleared from that. Now I'm out here with you guys. So here's the deal. If you don't like it, you, you shouldn't be yelling and screaming at each other walking down the road. A few minutes later, one of the men reveals some key information. Can we just please continue? No, we're not done yet. Officer. No, we're not done yet. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. I am on probation. Okay. What are you on probation for? supposed to be drinking. You're not supposed to be drinking? Have you been drinking? How much have you been drinking today? I've had a little bit. Do you have anything on you you know about, bud? No, no. The man is detained okay. while the cap team places a call to the probation officer. Just like you're blowing up a He's 1032, just heads up. The man blows a .201. His decision to drink violates his probation and sends him back to jail. No, you're not doing the right thing. You're on probation, you're drinking, you're hanging out with a felon. They're arguing loud enough where it caught my attention, and they continue to argue as they walk closer. So at that point, we can't just let them arguing because that could lead into, you know, an assault or a fight, something, you know. It could lead into nothing, too, but, but that's not how our job works. Cameron's next stop is what police refer to as the downtown and, uh, corridor. The Inlet Inn, Town Square Park. Uh, Fourth Avenue, we deal a lot with uh, inebriation issues, especially on the evening nights. Town Square is an area often frequented by young adults. How we doing, guys? What's going on today? Oh, bud, come here. Hey, come on, have a seat. Should we walk away from us? Smoking some spice? Let me see it. I'll take that pocket knife, too. Any attempt to smoke spice is illegal in Anchorage. How high are you right now, man? Just a little? You you look like you're blitzed. Today, this young man received a $150 fine. He had a civil citation today for possession of synthetic cannabinoid. But was sent on his way. I don't want to see you back in Town Square Park. Have a good day. The problem with the spice is that it's... They, they see it as legal. Um, and it really messes with them, you know. It makes them just do all sorts of crazy stuff. From Town Square to the bus transit center, Cameron joins up with Officer Mitchell once again. How's it going, guys? Making sure their presence in the area is noticed. All right, ladies, make sure you show up to your court dates there, okay? Stay out of trouble. And her. Just doing what you do. <laughs> doing what we do, exactly. The bus combination center has turf issues with gangs and some of that. Um, we get reports from the Covenant House and people down here about child prostitution and pimps targeting you know, juveniles down here. It's just after 6 p.m. now, and the cap team discovers a woman sleeping on the sidewalk. What are you doing over here? Uh, Taking a nap. Drunk. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, Brock Tef's confirmed she is intoxicated. You bracked a, a two five I six. I know, I know, I know. The woman was escorted to the Anchorage Safety Patrol Center to sleep it off. I love you guys. Cameron says his role is rewarding because the community cares. The community, their eyes and ears, they, they come out and they, they tell us what's going on. They let us know what's happening at certain times, certain days. It's a shared uh, partnership to curtail you know, crime. Said, hey, sir, you go why don't you wait in your house for me, okay? See ya. I appreciate it. In hopes we all can feel safe in our own neighborhoods. Cap 6 row, Cap 8. 
Officer Cameron says business uh, owners in downtown have told him that they are noticing a difference in the reduction of crime with the CAP team's presence. Well, the CAP team is part of APD's crime suppression unit that also includes the school resource officer, traffic officer, canine, and special assignment unit.